Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dean Hopper Realtors. Well, I'm back at the beautiful community of Vintage Oaks, smack dab in the middle of the Texas Hill Country of New Braunfels, Texas. Absolutely love this community. Y'all know that I do a lot of videos out here. But behind me is a home built by Perry Homes. This is the 4053 plan, and my client closes on it next week. So, of course, I'm going to do a video tour of it. Let's go check it out. This is in the one acre section of Vintage Oaks, and I absolutely love this part of the community. Um, th this is on a cul-de-sac, and behind me is Merlot, and uh, such a quiet part of the community, and great schools that go to Vintage Oaks, but you just got some amazing views. And just a few turns around the corner from here is the amenity center. And if you haven't seen my video tour of the amenity center, I am going to put that in the box up top here. So uh, be looking for that, check it out. Lazy River, big pool, fitness center. I mean, it's tough to beat this place as far as amenities. But this is the 4053 plan built by Perry, which is also the square footage. So this is a big, beautiful home, four car garage, and yeah, just gorgeous. On the side of the house, like I said, this is an acre lot. So you're gonna have a lot of distance between your neighbors and you're gonna have two air conditioning units. One of them is for the main house section a little smaller one that's for just the bedroom and bathroom but perry did such a wonderful job landscaping this house they just put the grass in so it's a little a little soggy right now but love the brick finishes that they've done just the level of detail now i've done video tours of this house before early in its construction stage and this was like a really high drop so what Perry did was they built a little rock wall here, as you can see, and then brought the lawn up. So you wouldn't have so many stairs and such a big drop off. So that's a really good idea for Perry, just bringing this lawn up a good three or four feet. So this isn't so big, but man, look at that entrance. That is such a nice entrance. But well, coming up, and one of the things I love about this house the most is this front patio. I mean, just check this out. Lots of coffee sitting area. But look at the view coming out this side. When we, my clients purchased this house, it was just in frame stage, but this patio was already here, and this kind of really sold them. Being able to just sit up here, drink their coffee, there's always a nice little cross breeze going on. So just gorgeous. And these little oak trees up front doesn't hurt. All right, let's head on inside. Definitely love these beautiful double doors with the rain glass windows. Just really nice touches. All right, as you come in, you can see the really wide entryway. It's kind of one of the hallmarks of Perry Homes. And I got kind of a little gothic cathedral type thing going with this front foyer section. Love the little sparkly spots on this uh, light. But coming right into the house, you do have the study right up front. And check out how tall and big this study office, whatever you want to call it is. This is big. Perfect location for Parking your desk right here. I don't like having my back to doors. I'm retired military, that's kind of a no-no. Um, but uh, nice windows, nice light. And uh, coming right into the living, the formal dining room. Super tall ceilings in here. Plenty of space to put however big of a dining room table you want to do. All right, let's keep going into this beautiful home. In this section of the house, I call it like kid land if you have kids. If not, a lot of guest bedrooms. We got these little nooks set up. Perfect, no, I was, we were just doing a FaceTime video for my client, doing a walkthrough with a construction manager and I was joking, it was like, yeah, he put a little Greek statues right here that all light up. But this comes into, like I said, the kid area. You got a little built-in study. 
ethernet port right there so they're not hogging your Wi-Fi. You do have the laundry room also right up front part of the house. Got your uh, ready for your washer and dryer hookups. And they even got it plumbed for a sink to be going in later. You do have a full bath that these two bedrooms on this side of the house will be sharing. Shower tub combo. And look at the size of these secondary bedrooms. These are big. Also with the tall ceilings, but check out the size of this closet. This is insane. It kind of goes on the back side where the office is. So why not use up all the space? So this is a big closet for a secondary bedroom. Now, like I said, they don't, my clients doesn't close on this house till next week. So there are some minor finishing touches that they're working on still. Kind of a mirror bedroom, but just not as big of a closet. Eight foot doors all throughout the house. So that's really nice, especially with ceilings this tall. But let's go to the main part of this house. This kitchen and living space is the heart and soul of this house. This kitchen is made for entertaining. You can definitely imagine a group of people kind of all clustered around that little island, chit-chatting while drinking some wine. Love the rock surface on there. Just beautiful. Let's head on around and let's go check out this kitchen in a little more detail. Now we do have two ovens, but they're not stacked. They're kind of separated. You don't see that too often, but very functional. Um, both by GE. Let's see if I can see what I'm looking for. Yeah, they've got a little port in here. I just learned something new today, going to the construction manager, where you can put a little meat thermometer in there and because these are Wi-Fi connected ovens, uh, set up an app for it and it'll go, your phone can go off once your meat reaches the desired temperature. I cook on a big green egg, I've got one of those and they're very handy, but I haven't seen it for an uh, oven like that. Maybe they've been around for a long time and I'm just now learning about it. That does happen. But beautiful gas cooktop, pot filler, and I love the fact that these have the cabinets going all the way to the top. And if you've got tall ceilings, um, and especially even in the kitchen, you want to be able to take your cabinets all the way to the top. That looks a little silly if they don't. But love the color selection on the island being a little different from the main uh, cabinets. Beautiful sink. And definitely love the view from the sink because you can see your main living area. A little bit of the game room, which we'll get that in a second. And the breakfast nook. It's hard to call it a breakfast nook because that thing's huge too. And I'm not going to forget about the pantry. I don't need no comments in the uh, comment section about why didn't you show the pantry. Here it is. It's a big pantry. Plenty of space for everything. But this is over a 4,000 square foot house. So of course you're going to expect to have a big pantry. You do have a little mud room. Mud section. Place to put your shoes. Hang your backpacks. A little butler pantry, perfect for putting your coffee pot or if you're hosting a bunch of folks, you can put some food trays there prior to taking it into the dining room. Talking about something that's big in this house, check out this garage. This is a four car garage, but pretty much a four and a half car garage. Check this out. You've got two bays right here, another double bay, but then you got this extra space in front of it, perfect for if you wanted to build a workbench to do something on. And the way this garage is built, you can have a lot of hanging racks if you want to put all those totes for Christmas, or Halloween decorations. I love that Perry built this little deck here <clears throat> so your attic ladder isn't super long because it's a super tall ceiling. Very well done by Perry. I'm very pleased to see how this house is turning out. I, I know my clients can be very pleased once they move into it next week. 
but beautiful backsplash. Let's check out this. This is what they're calling a breakfast nook. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a monstrous breakfast nook. Uh, you can do anything you want to with this. I've already gone through my brain trying to think of what I would do. And I'm like, oh yeah, my wife can put her piano right there. Here's my bar, put a nice little rug there, put some bar stools up and this be one happy camper. Now I'm sure my buyer is going to do whatever they want to do, but this is what my thought process. But you also have this game room here. Uh, you can easily put a pool table, uh, movie room, put your big screen up if you want on either one of these walls. This room is perfect for if your wife is complaining about your TV's too loud, you're bothering her, you just kind of go and shut the door and come in here and watch the TV as loud as you want. Like I said, uh, I have no experience of that ever happening. Wife telling you that your, TV, your movie's too loud, or your football game's too loud, but that's too much information. But check out the space. You do have your plug on the floor, so if you've got electronic uh, couch or just want a power outlet for your coffee tables, you do have a wood-burning fireplace going all the way to the top and it does have a gas assist light where you just flip a switch to get your wood burning. Back here is a, I really like this room back here so yes if you get kicked out of the bed for snoring too loud or if your wife is snoring that's never happened to me before either but you can have your room back here or yes this could be your long-term guest bedroom because it's got a full bath. Full mud, uh, well, mud inset shower, tile going all the way to the top with its own little closet right here too. So yeah, if you've got the college students that are coming to town for a little while and they want to spend a week or two with you, you can definitely give them their own part of the house and they can just stay there and not be disturbed. Like I said, there's so much about this house that I really, really like. One of which is this back porch patio area. Check this out. How tall this is. It's got a spot uh, blocked for a fan. You can put a really big fan in there. But also remember, even though it's covered, make sure you put a uh, uh, outdoor rated fan because yes, during the summertime, we do get a little humid here. Not as bad as Houston, but we do get a little humid and those fan blades will droop if it's not a uh, outdoor rated fan. Now in earlier videos of this house during the construction process, you saw they had a big rock, well, a big dirt drop there. So I'm really happy to see what Perry did bringing in all these rocks and cooling, putting a really neat feature to the yard, but this is a one acre lot. So their lot goes all the way back to that wood pile back there. Perfect for putting a little fire pit back. I'm not gonna go walk the whole yard. We do see the sprinklers going off back there and yeah, I don't wanna get all wet. They just put this lawn in, so they've been watering it like twice a day. It's a little squishy, but uh, yeah, beautiful back porch sitting time with a great view out the side of this house and the back of the house and all that cross breeze does feel good right now. All right, we got one more room left and that's just on the other side of these windows. That's gonna be the master bedroom and the bathroom is absolutely gorgeous. Let's go check that out too. Oh, got a little house spider. Don't freak out about them, they're harmless or they just kind of eat bugs. bugs. You see them quite a bit, or some people call them jumping spiders. Don't freak out. They don't bite humans. They're not poisonous. They're just kind of cute. All right, before you get into the master bedroom, you do have a powder room set up where it's just a toilet and a sink. Just really nice. I love the feet, the faucet that they chose. And nice lights. All right, let's go inside here and look at the size of this. Just wonderful lighting, beautiful fan. Like I said, still the super tall ceilings in here. Love this bedroom. And I'm a big 
fan of having things balanced, just check out how balanced this bathroom is. I mean, this, I love the fact that it's just really nicely done. You do have mirroring vanities set up. Now the other side, same thing. They use the same color gray as they did on the kitchen island. Just a beautifully done tub. And check out these closets. They're doing more of a, they did a California closet set up where you got lots of nooks and crannies. So perfect place for shoe rack. You can put your unmentionables in here and you've got your off-season racks way up top. So if you're coming here and bringing a bunch of, brunt, ah, I can't even talk anymore, a bunch of sweaters, you can put them up there because you're probably not going to use too many sweaters here. You just have to get one of those uh, hooks on a stick to uh, reach up there. But we have more shoe racks over on this side and plenty of little closet nooks. On the side of the bathroom, you've got this absolutely gorgeous walk-in shower, mud inset as well. Took the tile all the way to the ceiling with a rain shower up top and a regular shower head on the bottom and your little bench. And we got another closet that doesn't have all the drawers in it, but still this is a good size closet, plenty of hanging racks and your shoe slash uh, boot rack. Because yeah, this is Texas. We, you can put your boots in there. Yeah, there's just so much I like about this house. I'm super excited for my client and they, I think they're gonna absolutely love it. Like I know they will once they move into it because this is a beautiful home built by Perry. Now they can only do this plan on one acre lots, but uh, so that means Perry's probably already bought that lot and can build this plan on it. All right, that's gonna wrap up the tour of the 4053 plan built by Perry Homes in the beautiful community of Vintage Oaks in New Braunfels, Texas. If you got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And if you're considering moving to the area and wanna reach out to me, I am a local realtor that specializes in this part of Texas. The best way to contact me is to click the link I'm gonna put in the description box. That's gonna give you access to my calendar and uh, you can schedule a Zoom meeting or a phone call with me and I'll be happy to help. As always, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and keep sharing these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now. Bye.